French royalty have been renowned for their extravagant and trend-setting fashion for centuries, influencing not just French society but fashion across Europe and beyond. Their attire was a powerful symbol of status, wealth, and cultural taste, evolving dramatically through different historical periods. Let's delve into some key eras and iconic styles. Our first stop is the illustrious heir of the Sun King, Louis XIV, reigning over the 17th century with unparalleled grandeur. Louis XIV's fashion choices were a testament to the immense artistic and cultural flourishing of his time. Men of the court sported the elaborate just decor, tightly fitting coats that were veritable works of art adorned with intricate embroidery lace and an array of sparkling jewels. Meanwhile, the women embraced the dramatic silhouette of robes a la Française, featuring voluminous skirts that seemed to defy gravity, supported by panniers, creating a breathtaking visual spectacle. The Sun King's court not only set the stage for French society but cast a sartorial shadow that would influence fashion across Europe and beyond. As we gracefully transition to the 18th century, we find ourselves amidst the opulent extravagance of Queen Marie Antoinette. Known for her flamboyant tastes, Marie Antoinette took French fashion to new heights. The robe a la Française, the pinnacle of opulence, reached extravagant proportions under her reign. Wide panniers resembling architectural marvels accompanied towering puffs, elaborate hairstyles adorned with feathers, ribbons, and believe it or not, miniature ships. Marie Antoinette's fashion choices were not merely about garments. They were a statement of excess and luxury, defining the very essence of the French aristocracy during this era. Let's fast forward through the winds of change brought by the late 18th to early 19th century, the era of the French Revolution and Romanticism. The tumultuous times witnessed a dramatic shift in fashion, mirroring the societal changes of the period. Neoclassical styles emerged, embracing simplicity and rejecting the opulence of previous decades. Women's robes a l'antique drew inspiration from Grecian rapery, featuring flowing gowns and empire waists. Men adopted more practical tailcoats and breeches, emphasizing functionality over flamboyant decoration. The fashion landscape transformed, echoing the revolutionary spirit that swept through France. A kaleidoscopic journey takes us to the mid-19th century, the Second Empire elegance under Napoleon III. Empress Eugenie emerged as a style icon, infusing glamour back into French fashion. Rich fabrics, intricate trimmings, and wider skirts supported by crinolines, those distinctive metal cages, created a silhouette that was both striking and elegant. Delicate details like lace collars and floral motifs adorned garments, capturing the romantic ideals of the time. It was an era where every stitch spoke of sophistication, and French fashion regained its enchanting allure. As we traverse through the early 20th century, a period marked by societal upheavals and cultural revolutions, we land in the exhilarating Roaring Twenties, a time of jazz, liberation, and of course, a fashion renaissance. French royalty, adapting to the changing world, found a new rhythm in the aftermath of World War I. The once strict sartorial codes began to loosen and a fresh wave of exuberance swept through the fashion scene. The flapper style emerged characterized by dropped waistlines, knee-length hemlines, and the iconic bobbed hairstyle. This departure from the previous century's conventions was a symbolic rebellion, reflecting the newfound spirit of independence and liberation. French royals embraced this modern wave with enthusiasm, with influences seen in tailored suits for men and the iconic flapper dresses for women. Princesses and duchesses, previously bound by rigid traditions, began to adopt more dynamic and daring styles. The fashion of the Roaring Twenties echoed the social and cultural dynamism of the time, with French royalty at the forefront of this vibrant revolution. This era not only reshaped fashion, but also laid the groundwork for the modern adaptability that defines French royal style today. From the lavish courts of the Sun King to the free-spirited elegance of the 1920s, the journey of French royal fashion is an exemplification of its ability to evolve and captivate across centuries. And thus, our royal fashion journey takes another captivating turn, highlighting the resilience and adaptability of French royalty in the face of changing times. As we bid adieu to the Roaring Twenties, we carry forward the legacy of innovation and style into the pages of history.
Now let's land in the 21st century, witnessing the adaptability of French royalty to a changing world. The focus shifts to Princess Grace of Monaco, a symbol of modern adaptation and timeless elegance. Her wardrobe epitomizes the evolution of royal-style tailored suits that exude power and poise and chic evening gowns embodying refined simplicity. French royal fashion, while retaining its sense of sophistication, seamlessly embraces the contemporary trends of each era. It's a fascinating blend of tradition and modernity. As we reflect on these iconic eras, it becomes evident that French royal fashion is designed with threads of grandeur and innovation. From the dazzling courts of the Sun King to the understated elegance of modern royals, each era encapsulates the evolution of style and the shifting societal values that influence these sartorial choices. The legacy of French royal fashion continues to captivate the world, leaving an indelible mark on the pages of history. And with that, our French royal fashion journey comes to a close. If you found this exploration as captivating as I did, don't forget to show your appreciation by giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more enthralling insights into historical fashion and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our regal adventures until our next rendezvous in the world of elegance and style.